Hi guys! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> okay, the first question that I'm going to ask you in your interview is Who likes horror movies? Okay, I can see there's only three out of the four of you. Okay. I do like them, I do enjoy them, but I don't really favourite them as much. Really. Okay, interesting. So for those that do like horror movies, can you like describe to me your favourite film? Favourite horror movie? Favourite horror movie. Oh, I don't know. Um, okay, so um, Grave Encounter was, was good because I thought their storyline was good, but I was just screaming throughout the whole thing. <laughs> and when I see a horror movie, I want to be scared. I want to be, come to the bathroom with me. I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> I am <laughs> <in the cupboard. laughs> But like, Orphan, that storyline was amazing. So, I don't know. Even one of them. Just because it's I think movies like exorcism, they're quite good. Yeah. yeah. I've heard yeah. Like, you know when it's like based on real life, like, based yeah. on true life, like, that scares um, you. Have you watched more. Hostel? No. Yeah, I've seen a little bit. That movie is crazy. Like, I like more gruesome things because it scares it's me more. It's the torture. It's the torture. Ah. No, it's not okay. That's like 18. Yeah. Oh. I like more gruesome movies. So, Hostel and... Oh, no, not so sort of purge. I actually like love purge. Not like not purge the first one because you know that went downhill. But the second one was actually really good. I was screaming throughout the whole cinema. Like everyone was staring at me. I'm, like, I'm sorry. I'm like flipping scared. Like there were people like coming out of nowhere. People like the guy was chilling and then he got shot like three times. He was about to say I love you and he got shot. I got really sorry. Thing. I was like screaming and, and it's just I like being shocked. So yeah, it's good in the, in the, in the, moment. the purge too. Yeah, it's good in the moment, and then like when you're going home late at night, it's like, oh my yeah. god, I'm gonna die, because I'm gonna come up <laughs> with a flipping thing which you can wave it in my face and put a white mask, I'm gonna die. But, yeah. Well, my favourite type of horror would be like Paranormal Activity, where it's sort of slow pace, and then it gets faster, and at the end, that's when all the action starts happening. <laughs> Okay, describe the worst scene you've seen. It's when there's the climax, whatever yeah. climax scene there is. To I be hate it so much because of the music. The music is such a key. I yeah, it's like, it's such a key. Like, when it it's is, like, it's and then the camera angles, the angles when, it's and so when it's important. really slow as well. And also the actor's expression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when they draw you in and they do. And then you know it's, it's so obvious why like, when they're like um to the back is turned yeah. and then like they flip and screech up. I'm like, oh my god. It, it pops does. up. Oh. Pops up. I hate that. Like I'm I'm like <laughs> you know, in like the country and stuff, you know when they just appear? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and they just appear like that. Okay, you need to warn someone before you do that. You just you don't just come out of the blue. You need to prepare me. So don't prepare <laughs> for scary movies. <laughs> scary movies, you have to shock them in the moment. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so what do you think of horror movies in general? Predictable. Like, what, what is your view on each of you? I want to hear each of your opinion. What is your view of horror movies in general? Shahana. I, I, in the beginning I said I don't like, I do like horror movies, but I'm, I wouldn't watch it again and again because I know it's predictable and I, I've seen in every Hollywood horror movie and I know what's going to happen and it's good in the moment like I said before but there is one unconventional horror movie that I quite liked could I recommend it? It's called Cabin in the Woods it's really good so yes I liked it because it was different from other horror movies it shocked me than what other horror movies felt to shock me in so yes Okay I don't know, I really like horror movies, like any, any um, horror movie that comes out I go to see it just because I want to be scared and stuff but I don't know, they're just, they're not like, oh my god, so this boy doesn't like me and I'm just going to cry, but it's like, it's just, I think it's different to like all movies because there's this constant fear and you just get led into that and then you, oh I love it and then the aftermath, there's nothing like having the, that feeling of someone watching you after a horror movie, it's great. <laughs> What favourite? I don't know. Either Grave Encounters or Orphan. But then Conjuring was really good. I still need to watch that. I watched, I it, watched it. it. It's quite. It's quite. And it was the start of Conjuring, you know. Yeah. What was the? I was really, you know the finger one, like the moth one. Like fingers came out of my throat. I don't remember what the movie was called. What I think yeah, horror movies would be the social aspect with the thrills and the banter. That's the reason why I go see them and why I like them in general. What about you? 
I like the fact, I actually like the fact that it's predictable because like, I like the fact that I know I'm going to be scared. I like the fact I'm going to be jumping up my seat and screaming, especially because I'm a loud person. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my god, and like, you know. So I just like, I like the fact, the thrill that horror movies give to me. I like the different, the way that always like, even though it's always pretty much the same plot, they always like try to like make it different somehow. So I just like stuff like that. I like the sceneries. I like the kind of like, mm, sceneries, like, like the different, you know how it's always the creepy scene? Yeah. I like that and I like the camera angles because it's so predictable, I just know what's going to happen. So then I can like get prepared to hide behind my hands. <laughs> what is your understanding of horror movies? What do you think they're set to do? Scare you. Scare? Yeah. Mm. Maybe to like <clears throat> make you think about what's out there as well. So if you watch like a ghost movie, it's like, there are actually ghosts. Like, <laughs> you know, the like, spirit to make you think. I don't know, like spirits and... Like that film, Thirteen Ghosts. <gasps> oh, yeah. the one with it. Oh, yeah, that's so creepy. <laughs> and it has all that historic background. I think that was a very interest, interesting. Aspect. Wait, that's the one where you, there was a glass house. With yeah. The, oh, that was so creepy. Like, I think the best kind of horror movies is the ones that has like good it's background. Like, like, they and it like sounds the like detail. Really cool. They have the detail. They yeah, have the all, unconventional all aspect. It's just, in no, really the best it. horror movies. No, I think it makes it slightly creepy. Yeah, based, on like, based on a true story. Based on a true. When oh, I think based on a true story, I'm like, yeah, hey, yeah. I want to watch that. And yeah. I don't want to watch that because I'm I know, based yeah. on a true story. Therefore, it can happen to me. I'm gonna That's die in an yeah. attic with a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> then again, you want to watch it, and then you go, oh, do I really want to watch that? Music is key. That Check that house horror. Is good. Who lived here before me? Who lived here? They died. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's home. Is that the conjuring or was it? Yeah, because yeah, he true went story. there. He true went story. there because he knew that people died in that house. <laughs> no, 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 and I'm going to ask you to compare the 20th century horror movie with a 21st century horror movie. And I would like you to assess the difference between them two. Okay? The 20th century was really cheesy, over exaggerated, more ha 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 ha, dramatic, theatrical. Comedy than horror movie. Yeah, what did you say, Pantomime? Yeah, more yeah. Like we didn't take it seriously because yeah. of the way it was done. My like, God, the whole band, the whole... It was, it was so stereotypical. It's like the special... Because you know how a special effect mm -hmm. really adds to, um, like, the, the, the essence of a movie? Like, in yeah. Twilight, how... Um, if you did that in the olden days, mm -hmm. how, how it would be done. Um, <clears> like, how Jake transferred into a flipping wolf, like, when he's yeah. running. <laughs> Imagine that, like, in the flipping 20th century. It would be so yeah. bad. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, like you'll see, like, a little wolf and dog, like... Oh, no. And then yeah. you see that in a human, it'd be, like, really, really bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say, like, they had, like, the guy that was the, the evil guy, and then he took this beautiful young girl, and he yeah. wanted to take her, and it was, like... It's just so stereotypical and it was just, mm. it didn't really work. Like, I yeah. feel that they, the scary movies didn't really develop during that time. They played the same stereotypical things over and over mm. again. Yeah. It felt like that. It was like, Dracula's like a classic mm. book. It's a book that's a classic. So I don't know, maybe they were a bit confused how to make it more scarier. But where with this one, it was like because <sighs> the guy mm. he himself very. was filming, filming it, it made it more real to yeah. us. It's very it like I'm gonna get my camera and start filming. I'm gonna die. It's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. It was it was like scary. a documentary. So it was mm. like oh my god, this is like a true story. And like and then obviously technology is adapted mm. and yeah. stuff. But yeah. like you couldn't really do that. Twenty seventeen. You know how he changed from human to like. Red eyes, I mean, like, yeah. Really, yeah. You couldn't do that with this. And it's like he had this like he was clearly like summoning something. Whereas mm -hmm. like because it we don't know what it was he was summoning. Mm -hmm. It was like that something like you're thinking about what is actually around exactly. us. Whereas mm -hmm. in the other one it was like it's Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> we know what's going on. Yeah. Whereas like the unknown scares us more than yeah. the known. I think. And that's why the 21st century works better. Mm -hmm. I think. Fact he was recording. himself, It was more intense. It was more. Like we were having a, it was more personal. Mm -hmm. Like we were watching him doing his things, and it had like a psychological 
uh, aspect to it, which I found really interesting because it was like his mind was playing tricks on him. Yeah. And it was more like, real because it was really real life realistic. Situations. Like he's yeah. actually in his home with his wife and his child. Yeah. Yeah. That's how. That's actually how you act. Like when your child is like really scared, like and you try to lighten them up. That's what you saw. And then mm. when you see that, and you're like, oh my god, he's gonna turn into a super freak and try and kill this child. And yeah. You're like, oh my god, that's kind of scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like the psychological impact. Um, that messes with the main character, that's really interesting.